Welcome back to the garden. Um, today I'm going to record another video about how to identify tomato suckers because I didn't do a great job at it last time. Um, so first we'll talk about all the parts of the plant again, uh, and then we will walk through how I find all the suckers on a plant um, so you can see sort of the system I use and um, if you do it systematically it's pretty easy. So zoom in on this plant here. So one of the easiest parts of the plant to identify is the main growing stem. Um, this is the stem that comes out of the ground and it supports the tomato. So very easy to see, that's right there where it comes out of the ground. Um, it goes all the way up the length of the plant. This one is a really good example. Just kind of goes straight up, follow it, follow it, follow it, and then it ends. Um, another easy part of the plants to identify are the leaves. The leaves come out of the main stem at a 90-ish degree angle. So here is a really really good example right here let me zoom in a little so you got the main stem going up there and then the leaves come off to the side of the main stem at a 90 degree angle and they look like this let me get you a better example so this leaf here you can see where it comes away from the main stem way over here and it's got a bunch of leaflets on it. All of these little leaves, these are actually leaflets. This whole thing is a leaf. Um, and a, another thing you can use to identify it is that it ends in a leaflet. See? It doesn't have any growing parts on it. It just has these leaflets and then it just ends in a leaflet and that's it. Um, another important part of the plant are these flower stems. I don't think they're actually technically stems. Uh, sorry, trying to get good focus. So where the flowers are, they come off the main stem as well. Flowers are super easy to identify. They have this yellow color to them. And you can see an older one down here because it's got fruits on it. Um, and that is obviously a good part of this plant. We're not going to cut any of these off. Um, the fruits even, you can see a really good example of, there's the flower uh, left on this tomato. Um, it hasn't snapped off yet, it's not really important to the tomato, but that's where the flower was and now there's a fruit. So um, one thing I didn't say last time about the growing stem of a, of a tomato is you look up at the top, you've got what's called the apical meristem up here. Apical just meaning at the apex of the plant, at the top of the plant. And meristem is a fancy botanical word for the part of the plant that basically builds new cells and sort of builds everything in really tiny uh, versions before it expands with water. So this is this part up here is actually making all of the leaves and the stem and the flower buds and everything um, as it as it moves up. So it sort of builds new stuff behind it and grows. Um, that's when I said that there's a lot going on up at the top and that's how you can sort of identify the main growing stem. Um, what I mean is that everything gets smaller and smaller as you go up. So if you look right behind my fingers, right, sorry, right in front of my fingers, there's a there's a lot of things happening here. We've got some flower buds. We've got lots of little pieces coming off the stem. There's this leaf, there's this leaf, there's this thing that I think is a leaf. And then the main stem is actually hidden in here somewhere. And all of that stuff, that's how you can identify a growing stem on a tomato. The fact that this one is at the top means that it's, it is the main stem and we want to keep that one around. If you see this pattern of leaves and other stuff happening um, elsewhere on the plant, that's how you can identify a sucker. That's one way. Um, so let's take a look. Let's walk up the plant from the base and we'll go through finding all the suckers like I do when I'm not filming. So 
So if you look down here, start at the base of the plant. You've got the main stem coming out of the ground right here. So you want to follow that up to the first leaf. Boom, right here. So we've got the main stem continues up in this direction. And you've got a leaf coming off at 90 degree angle. If I kind of move the plant a little bit, you can see. Definitely a 90 degree angle between the main stem here and this leaf here. So then what's this? This uh, is a sucker for sure. So this, one way you can identify suckers is that between the main stem and the leaf, there's another thing growing. Um, so that's, I highly suspect this is a sucker. Let's follow it along. If we walk up here, we can see it has that same sort of pattern of lots of leaf buds and flower buds and little things all happening up at the, the top of it. So that is another meristem. That's a secondary meristem, um, which, you know, we like to call suckers because they suck nutrients out of the plant. I think that's where that word comes from. Um, and it has, another way you can identify it is it has its own leaves and its own suckers. So right there, if you treat this as the main stem, you've got leaves coming off at a 90 degree angle. You even have, you can see a little sucker right in there. Um, so that's when I say that they're a clone of the plant. Um, that's exactly what I mean. They, they, if you put this down into the ground, it would look exactly the same as a tomato. You wouldn't be able to identify that it was a sucker and not the main stem of the plant. So this one I'm actually going to leave in place because with these plants, I haven't yet let them have a second stem. Um, I like to give my tomatoes two stems so because that won't take too many nutrients and it will produce more fruit. Um, so I pick this one because for one, it's the oldest and biggest and another it's closest to the ground. So when there's a lot of weight bearing down here, uh, it'll be much more stable if that weight is, is here than if it's way up uh, higher. So continuing on, let's go actually find some suckers we want to get rid of. We walk up the plant until we find another leaf. Here's one right here. You can sort of see it with the shadows going on. So we have the main stem growing upwards. We have a leaf going off to the left at a 90 degree angle. Is there anything in between them? No, there's no sucker at this leaf. So we continue on. We walk up the plant a little more. And now we have the main stem going up here. We have a leaf here. And then we have something in between. And we can further identify it as a sucker if we look at its apex. And we see, oh, yeah, it's got all of this stuff going on. There's leaves and flowers and things coming, all coming out of one little place. So we are sure that this is a sucker now and we can remove it. Um, and again, this one is pretty big, so I'm going to use a sharp knife to cut it, um, which I'll complete off camera because I don't want to cut into the main stem of the plant with one hand here. So then continuing on, we walk up the plant more. We find here is another leaf where there's a leaf coming off the main stem. There's nothing in between. So you can follow that, um, that process to find all the suckers on your plants. And I'm going to cut and show you how to do that on a much bigger, more mature plant because it can be a little bit trickier over there. Okay, here are the plants that I put twine on the other day to support them. You can see that they're growing up towards the sun. They're not leaning over anymore, um, so it only took a few days for them to turn around with some support. Um, but you can see the one on the left is starting to lean a little bit, um, and so I'll need to add more twine to these later today. Um, because they were tipped over and they're much bigger, uh, they're going to be trickier to find the suckers on. So let's look at this plant. You can actually see 
this part is nice and, and growing upright, but if you follow it down, you can see it actually curves before it goes down into the ground because it um, was not supported and it's sort of never going to not do that anymore. So that, that curve there is, is actually all the main stem. So let's follow our process. We'll start at the ground. You can just sort of move leaves out of the way. So there we can see the main stem coming out of the ground. If we follow it up to the first leaf node where the leaf comes out, uh, here's a leaf coming out and you can sort of pull on it and make sure that it's just a leaf. And we can see that it is. It's got ends in a leaflet there. So, and there's no sucker growing here out of, out of the plant. So we'll follow it up even more. And here we found another leaf coming off to the side. And then it's hard to see in the shade, but oh, there's this little stem growing out from in between the leaf and the stem. So um, that is definitely a sucker. And you can see the growing part of it right here. So we can, this one's small, we can actually just snap that one off. So we continue. So now the stem is curving. It's, it's still the thickest part, so we can identify it by that, even though it's not growing straight up and down. Uh, it's hard to see, but there is another leaf there, growing here, and here's the stem. There's nothing in between. So that one doesn't have a sucker. So continue on. Here's another leaf. This one's growing down, but it's still at a 90 degree angle to the main stem. And if we look in between, there is a little, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little sort of like thing growing there. It's not a, it's not a sucker. It's um, sort of a weird part of a leaf that was left over from an injury from me cutting the old sucker off. Um, so that one is fine. We don't have to worry about that. We continue up up to the side really and we find another leaf right there this one's really weird looking um, but this part you know if it looks weird just follow it to its end is it a leaf or a sucker and it's a leaf because it ends in this little leaflet here and doesn't have any growing parts on it so we look back at the stem and we see here's the leaf, here's the main stem, and there is a scar, but no sucker. They will grow other suckers from where I, you cut them off before. I cut this one off the other day, uh, and it's scarred over, but it will grow another sucker from here eventually. So you do have to keep an eye out for those. So we follow it a little more. We find a leaf, but it's there's also this other leaf here really hard to see with the shade going on. Let's see if I can get a better angle. So this is what we were looking at. We have a leaf here and we have another thing that's all tangled in some tomatoes. This other thing here is also a leaf. So like I said before, you can get some weirdness going on. This one is also growing out of a scar, like the last one. So there was a sucker here and I cut it off and now it's all hard and scarred over. So if we keep following the stem, here we go. Now here's an unusual pattern. We have a leaf coming this way and a leaf coming this way. Um, unusual, but certainly not unheard of, especially with uh, this type of tomato plant. These two are actually cherry tomatoes and the other ones that we've been looking at are Roma tomatoes. So you've got a leaf, yeah, sorry, got a leaf here, you've got a leaf here. So there could be a sucker on each side. Here's one for sure growing in between the two, the leaf and the stem. And then there could be one over here. <laughs> Here's another oddity. This is a leaf. It's not a sucker, even though it's growing in where a sucker was. And I think I think there was a sucker there, and I cut it off. Um, so this one, I'm just going to pop off. 
that sucker is gone. We continue up to the next leaf. Here's definitely a leaf coming off the side. And on the other side, there's another leaf coming off. And you can see something in between here. It was an old sucker that got um, damaged. And it's still kind of hanging around. So I'll just kind of pick that off. But uh, no big, like, full growing suckers there. Continue up. Now it's where it curves around again and starts growing upwards. We have the main stem. We have the leaf. And then you can see there was a sucker here. It was really big. And th this is one that I cut off before. But this uh, stump here was an old sucker. And there's nothing growing there now. So we continue up the plant. And we find in the shade. We've got the stem. We've got the leaf. And we've got something growing right in between. And if we look more closely, we can see that it has some growing parts and lots of little things happening. So that is the sucker for sure. We'll pop that off. And then you'll notice on the other side, you've got a dead leaf. There was a leaf growing there and it sort of died and dried out. I did find, these are called, um, I forget what they're called. They're a, a purple cherry tomato and they have a really weird, they do lots of really weird things like growing leaves out of both sides of a node, um, growing flowering parts where it's unusual to see them, like at the end of a leaf. So you have to be ready for strange patterns, but if you use what I've been saying to identify a growing stem on a sucker, you should be okay. So following it up a little more, we have another leaf coming off the main stem, and there is nothing in between. There's a scar there from where I cut one off before. So follow it up. Um, there was a sucker over here, but look, let me get a better angle on it for you. Two scars. So this point on the stem there was no leaf or maybe there was and I cut the leaf off but there was a sucker here for sure and maybe a leaf or maybe a second sucker so this is another example of it being unusual um, but there's nothing growing from here now so we can skip it and go up a little bit more we see here's a leaf sorry for the focus here's a leaf here's the stem and there's nothing growing out of the middle. And then... Here's another really good example of something strange, but not a sucker. You've got the main stem right on the other side of the leaf we just looked at. You've got the main stem, you've got a set of flowers, and then you've got a leaf growing out in between the flowers in the stem. But this is definitely just a leaf. You can see that it ends. It doesn't have any growing parts. Just a little leaflet. So we'll leave it alone. We get another better angle. So then we continue up the stem. We get to, this is the last one we're going to look at for this plant. We've got the main stem here. We've got a leaf here, and something growing in the middle. And that, if we look at it, it has leaves on it, but it's also got all of this other stuff going on. Some growing parts there under my thumb. And so that is a sucker, and we can get rid of it. I am going to cut that one off. It's pretty thick. Um, okay, actually, I, have, I see one more thing I want to show you. So you go up to the next leaf node. Get those flowers out of the way. And you've got, this is a very strange looking pattern here. Um, it looks sort of like the stem split. So you got the main stem under my middle finger here. You've got the leaf coming off where my index finger is. And then sort of a split. So how do you tell which one is the main growing stem? 
if we take a step back a little bit, we can see really this is a this is a growing stem and this is a growing stem. So it's up to you which one you want to choose. Sorry. Horn it. Uh this stem over here is bigger. Um, it's got flowers on it, so I'm not going to cut that one off. I'm going to cut this one off, even though it is pretty big. It's, it is a competing stem, um, and it's even got some suckers of its own already. So I will cut that off. And then we get up to the top of the plant, and there's, um, there's a leaf. There's some flowers. There's a leaf. There may be a sucker. We're not sure. There's a leaf. There may be a sucker, but it's probably the main stem of the plant. So after this point, I'm just going to leave it for a few days and let it develop, and we'll see uh, how it goes from there. <laughs>